Good evening for everyone from whichever corner of the world that you are sitting in. I'm honored to present in CASA 2021. I'm Kalangi Rodrigo from the Department of Archaeology, University of Women Sri Lanka. I'll, I'll be presenting on the agenda session today and my topic is uh, 500 Dhamsas of Sigiriya as Erotic Visuals Among Men from May to 9th Century BC Sri Lanka. Um, as we go for a background check, Sigiri is one of the uh, main cultural sites of Sri Lanka and it's now considered as the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, it is a wonderful creation of human ingenuity on the side of air inspiring sublimity. And it's a heaven for Sinhalese uh, classical art and architecture with its buildings, reservoirs, moths, walls, springs and paintings. Although Sigiri had a long history running from prehistoric times, its classical glory began in the 6th century by the efforts of King Kashyapa. And Sigiri is different from uh, the huge cave complexes from Ajanta, Danhuang, and other sites that contain paintings. At Sigiri, uh, there is an addition of mirror wall inscribed on it and preserved are the impressions and the feelings of poets whose minds were simulated by the portraits of the Sigiri themselves. Um, when we go for a methodology, uh, I designed this research in a highly literature-based manner as where existing literature is the population where I need to go for. Uh, therefore, sampling, data collection, and data analysis was uh, done in a highly literature-based but in a scientific display. I particularly use these two books to uh, construct my research in a reliable manner. Both books have been considered as a one of the kind books by two uh, eminent archaeologists from Sri Lanka. But in the main shaft of the research, I'll be prioritizing for Vitana. Particularly, the CGT graffiti one uh, is a, considered a very rich and important uh, se segment of classical singer poetry, which is uh, written largely during the period from 8th 10th centuries. My attempt is to make a window to understand the attitude uh, of men towards the women while displaying the literary power and the complexity inscribed in these walls. Um, as uh, you can see, uh, there are so many controversies uh, under the team who are they. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure all, you all can see it. In spite of these uh, views and theories, we are still not in a position to establish the identity of these uh, secret ladies with uh, some sort of certainty. Poets who visited Sigiri and admired the beauty of the Sigiri themselves in the 8th to 9th centuries faced an identical problem. But the poets uh, have shown us a different way of viewing the paintings. Of the hundred uh, thousands of who have uh, visited Sigiri, some have expressed their uh, responses in the poems inscribed on the mirror wall that runs parallel to the paintings. Uh, it is as if their voices can be heard as we experience the delicacy of their thoughts and the variety of their resp uh, responses. The feelings, the thoughts, customs, and the manner of the people encoded in the poems are using the resource of the contemporary language. Um, the paintings on the rock surface uh, the, consisted the female figures that added to the glory uh, of to the sea area. These female figures are delicately referred to as blue lily colored ones, look at this, and uh, the golden colored one by the inspired wizard who wrote about them on the mirror wall. These seen maidens who are uh, stunningly beautiful even today would have uh, attracted the hypothetical power over the poets thousands of years ago when the frescoes were fresh and brighter. Uh, from the ancient times, uh, the women have been a talking point to, to various occasions among men. In my research, I analyze the poetry with a keen insight and the sense of video and introduce this modern reading of the uh, CD verses to an international audience. For the convenience of the study, I divided uh, those uh, ideas into several sections as well as. From now on, I'll guide you by giving examples for each point. First, uh, as an erotic female grace, um, the poet who is inflamed with the passion after seeing the damsels implores the gods to grant him an opportunity of having sexual gratification uh, with them. The poet censures the woman for having denied him the opportunity, kissing their lips and uh, takes them to task for being so cruel. This side uh, is also a continuation of the previous uh, slide, uh, and you can see there are also 
poets who claim that they enjoyed sexual intimacy with these ladies. So several of the visitors have speculated like uh, the historians and archaeologists on the identity, identity of, the, uh, of the ladies of the paintings. They too see them as apsaras, as consorts, mornings, or on the way to puja. But majority teaches us uh, a different way to appreciate them, seeing them as an ideal represent, uh, representation of the feminine. They responded their beauty, their ally, their mystery. When Pilate sees a lady is inciting with a lady breast, and another says, although she, do, uh, she doesn't favor me the, with me her love, just seeing such beauty is enough for me. And sometimes there are responses of open sensual like this. This is an, 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 another important verse, I must say. Uh, this poet is a monk while he is uh, commendating and weaving the paintings. He met a female acquaintance. Uh, she was very beautiful, pleasant, and young. And she was uh, holding a lily in her hands. The poet turns on to, uh, out expresses his admiration for her physical charms. Visitors and the paintings are equally attractive. This poetic frenzy uh, would have derived from a real life experience, we can say. As in several of the poems explore the language of uh, flowers, for the flowers in the hands of Sigrid damsels are seen as eloquently uh, expressive through the paintings are, of course, silent. Um, many Sigiri lyrics reveal that the flowers in the hands of the Sigiri themselves have fascinated um, many a poets. This suggested that flowers symbolize love during Sigiri times. It's possible that lovers of all the time express their feelings with the flowers. Apart from the fact that the poets believe that the themselves express their love in in general to the flowers held in their hands, uh, there is no room for us to infer from the creation of these poets that uh, flowers of various species or the position of the flowers are held in the hands to convey any particular idea or emotion. The poetic concepts of the poets inspired by the flowers in the hands of the speeches themselves, the spiel of a symbolized love reveals how themselves spoke with the flowers in the loving lyrics. Uh, we may Take it like that. I mean, the silence of the themselves was no deficiency in the eyes of the poets because of themselves uh, uh, did express their feelings with the flowers. Probably the poet thought that even the mildest words were too harsh a medium to express the tenderness of feelings of love. Expression of the love cannot be captured in the words was uh, achieved not with intangible, unseen, but uh, with the flowers. The Kalkari smile. Uh, this is the most important verse, I must say. As for the poet, the smiles of the Sigiri themselves with open lips, uh, displaying it is, is the reminiscence of this uh, uh, rose of seeds of melon, blessed inside the fur. Uh, the pleasant speech of the long eyed one is cool and sweet as the marrow of, uh, of melon. To such a glance, the Sigiri themselves resembles the inside of the melon in all due respects. The melon is a fruit that cools the body. It, is past the heat too. The very thoughts of the melon bring about, it, uh, about a sense of coolness. There is a feeling of a heat of fire. The mind is kindled and it's uh, started burning to the last. It uh, torments the mind. The similarity between the melon on one hand and the beauty and the lovely from the themselves on the other had been perceived in the imagination of the poet. The eyes they were full of lust as per the poets. They were long eyed and possessed eyes of full blown blue lilies. Poets made an effort to establish the identity of the secret ladies. I must say there were few monks who described the eyes of secret ladies. The men saw them as an erotic object uh, which is painted on the mountainside. As someone stared at you steadily, looked at the lily blooms and was struck with them with the blue lust of the eyes. So we can postulate that a special attention was drawn into their eyes during men, men's tenure there. The suggesting silence, the certain points were engaged in a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So, uh, some of the stances suggest that the females were eager to draw the men into conversation, extreme uh, love talk and the engage in amorous activities. While the men on their part uh, saw the pleasurable companion of women, this pair themselves is looking at the blue water lily 
which is uh, which is holding while looking at it she smiles to the luster of the her smile when the flowers were blowing the dumpster does not raise her head even to have a look at the poet the poet uh, strikes the fact that the dumpster is real spirit true they do not let their words escape their lips to express ideas or emotions they do not vent them though they show some sort of restraints by being silent they fulfill their minds uh, desire by other means and the poets expected something from these ladies but not always they got the expression they wanted all the time the, the eyes were speaking especially the motionless eyes were engaged in the conversation however the poet was able to understand the messages in their hands uh suggesting speech or, or the utterance given by the act of looking what then poet has expressed in the in that he has had no dialogue other than an exchange of glances it looks like as if the poet has been afforded an opportunity for a communication of a quite personal and confidential message to her glance these are the ladies that you can see from zigiria uh, as you can see there are uh, many expressions were exposed uh, the sum of the eyes are full of tears like this we can portray like this like this this and this we, we may take it like that so the thoughts of the most of the poets who scribed verses on sigirium wall were attracted by the paintings uh, immortal female figures these subtle figures move the heart of the poets in those days more than did the other creations such as places tanks and the ponds that adorn sigiria and its uh, neighborhood on the other hand these figures are transmitted a warm intimate quality associated with the life's experience which is not implicated in other man made uh, natural features of sigiria many poets therefore were happy and content to be in the company of these frescoes and compose them uh, sorry compose poems about them in conclusion i must say sigiria's glory lying in these uh, female figures uh, this Ladies have preoccupied visitors uh, to the site over many centuries, even to today. Long eyes, covered hands, and naked chest made this uh, ladies erotic. These uh, ladies and refugees also went inside to the cultivated sensibilities of the time and its appreciation of, of art and beauty. Most importantly, even these ladies weren't in life. The poets could enjoy the mass. Uh, they would enjoy their privately at once. As do uh, the art critics today, the poets of the of those days too made an effort to establish the identity of the ladies. Yet even today, the identity is an unsolved mystery. You must say, may it remain like unsolved forever. I wish. May these ladies continue to rouse emotions in the viewers for ages yet to come. May their identity continue to create curiosity and may they be a witness only to the perfection of for the feminine form. These are the works from the previous scholars that I have cited. Um, I'm both honored and humbled to make my presentation at CASA 2021. I'd like to thank you, uh, thank uh, CASA organizing committee and the panelists. Um, and I'd like to pass my sincere gratitude for all of those who are in the participant list for being extraordinarily patient during the presentation. This work uh, is uh, required a lot of dedication, which is tolerated by the people of minor sofa and i would like to mention some names uh, such as miss anani premaratna miss harshini padmasri surya and miss hamakul surya for their support and the assistance and the most important the encouragement to the work and finally i'd like to pass my final gratitude for those who have mentioned and did not mention the name who provided support to our work so This is the end of my presentation and I would like to say thank you again for everyone and I would love to have some directions about my presentation if there's any thank you have a nice day